Okay, everybody, John and Bigot here. Good morning, greetings from, oh boy, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, Iowa. <coughs> so today, today is Wednesday, March 24th, 2021. We are uh, 1.5 miles to the shipper, picking up a load going to Norman, Oklahoma. Let's see. Wow, they got a Walmart distribution center here. I'm tempted to say that I've probably been here, but I have no idea. funny when I started uh, making YouTube videos um, I started I don't know if I started or I've always uh, well let's just say it's a waking moment I started uh, conscious waking moment I started making peace sign and I didn't think about it it much, you know, peace sign, the peace sign, and then uh, several years later, some old childhood pictures has surfaced, and what did I see with the uh, old pictures of me myself doing, giving up peace signs? <laughs> so I guess I've always. I've always, uh, ever since I was a young lad, I've always given out peace signs. I didn't know that. I didn't. I don't remember doing that when I was a little boy or a young man. But uh, yeah, I thought I was funny. All right, looking for 2227 East Commerce Drive. Oh, I know what the shipper is. Um, lineage, a lineage is the shipper. Which is probably this one right here. Seven two two five. Oh, it's over there. shipper at? Yes. Where's the, uh, where's the office? On the other side? Yeah. All right, thank you.
Place of Ward White Park, right here. Yeah, All right, thank you. It's just a handicap zone. Where, oh, where, oh, where? Fortunate to be assigned to this door. Why not, right? <laughs> All right, later. Well, guess what, everybody? I walked over there, just like that truck driver said. They are completely a different company. Engine check light. The, uh, the usual flag for Volvos. <laughs> so. Okay, so I walked over here. That guy, I, I bet you that a lot of drivers go over there and check in with the him because he knew exactly where to go. He told me that uh, there should be a door over here with a phone number to check in. So I checked in and uh, so now we have been assigned to door six. Right there, door six. We are currently lined up on door five, so just have to move over they did warn that it's gonna be a while later. Peace. Hey everybody, Johnny B. Good here. Hello and good afternoon. Greetings from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Henry County maybe? Alright, anyway, so today it is March 24th, 2021 and the temperature here is about 53 degrees. We are loaded and according to our load scale we are at 70 with our tandem slid all the way to the back. Now, as I always say, that 70 number has to be less than 57, or no more than 57. Otherwise, our drives will be overweight. So, 
I've got enough air to where I could slide the tandems. I could not film when I was closing the door because the, the loader was here and I didn't want to intrude. So uh, this is the one where that truck driver uh, rider broke. These are all the scars right there. Brand new one. Anyway. Our last pallet is somewhere around here, I think. Or even a little bit here. And we're quite heavy. So we're going to end up sliding this all the way forward about the Oh, I don't know. The second hole, maybe? I know you guys want to see this. I know, I know. I should get a tripod, right? I really should. With the tandem slid all the way to the front, we're still heavy on the front, uh, on the drive axles. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to go to the pilot, and uh, we're gonna go to the pilot and get a cat scale. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up coming back. It's showing we're at 60. We're at 60, so that's probably mean we're about 34... 34,500 pounds, maybe? To the pilot and get a uh, get a cat scale. I don't like driving around with my tandem slid all the way to the back. But it is what it is. And I even though um, even though we sometimes we truck drivers know that we're already overweight, you can't just go back to the shipper and say, hey man, you need to readjust this. They need you to go to a certified scale and uh, show them a uh, a weight ticket. They re mo I have never, I have never had a shipper rearrange their load without proof of overweight ticket.
I'd like to. I'd like to ask you guys. For those of you who are non-believers, right? That's your prerogative. No condemnation here. You believe whatever you believe. As sad as that may be, that's your prerogative, right? So for those of you who are non-believers, do you see, you have to understand, for us believers in Jesus Christ, we solely believe, we, we firmly believe wholeheartedly that this world is going to end in biblical proportions, the, the end times. Uh, it's going to end exactly what has been written on the book of Revelation. It is ingrained in my DNA. It's everywhere I look every day in my life that is part of who I am and what I think and how I think I see the view I see the world in a view of the end times and for those of you who do not believe I would like to ask you your opinion or your prediction of how the world is going to end, if ever it's going to end. Does, does, does in your view the world ends someday, some time? Or does it get better until peace is best? You know, peace of the human heart is eventually ultimately uh, what do you call that achieve are you are you hoping are you waiting do you believe that someday earth will be like in Star Trek kind of a deal where poverty is poverty is eradicated hunger disease and racism and so how do you guys view the world of its ending and or not ending for me I cannot just I just cannot seem to understand or I cannot avoid uh, the world in a view of you know, in light of the revelation kind of a view, so quite interesting to take your your opinion on that. Catskill, Catskill, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Dippin' Bow you? Catskill, Catskill, what you gonna do? Twelve dollar, twelve dollar, twelve dollar. Come on, Mr. Twelve Dollar. Yeah, twelve thousand one eighty on our steer. Drive axle is thirty-four thousand seven hundred and forty. Trailer axle thirty-one six forty. Grand total of seventy-eight thousand five hundred and sixty pounds. We're 700 pounds overweight on our drives. Yes, sir. My name is John. I just got loaded out of door six. Um, I'm at the uh, cat scale here with my tandem slid all the way to the front. I'm 740 pounds over my drives. Are you over 80,000? Over your drives? Okay, just bring your scale, take it back. Go ahead and line up with six again. Okay.
Okay. Uh, the the uh, the electronic scale ticket is not good enough. You need a hard copy. Yeah, I need a hard copy. All right, then. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Okay, so the boss wants, well, the boss kind of wanted to play chicken, but I said, you know what, let's play it safe. And so I called the shipper and uh, yeah, they're not satisfied with the electronic scale ticket they need a hard copy so I'm gonna have to go in there and get a hard copy from them What a waste of time. <laughs> I already knew that I was going to be overweight. But as I said, experience teaches me that uh, they're going to demand a hard copy of the CAT scale or any certified scale that is. And I was right. you gonna do Mr. Walmart Mr. Walmart
Alright, later.